All right, up the hill we go. Uh, ah, stupid invisible. We got the got the beam scythe, but we can't equip it. Again, the map looks like I should be able to go over there, but I can't. I really wanted to put the beam scythe on him. Oh, okay. Um, I don't feel like dealing with y'all right now. Oof. Oof. <sighs> I just want y'all to know, y'all forced my hand. This hurts you more than it hurts me. Proceeding onward. We're really dang close to Bazooli learning explosion, as soon as we do, all the other random encounters, or all the other set encounters on Earth are gonna die. What do we got here? Nice. Nice. The background's white. It's, it's probably the moon. It, I was gonna say, it's probably the floodlights that are surrounding the fortress. Be on floor five now, I think. Should be. So that means we got two more floors to go. Uh. So, uh working on another project right now where I'm going to be doing uh, comparisons of uh, uh, all the versions of Mega Man X I can get my hands on. The only one I'm waiting on right now is the uh, Legacy Collection, which I'm still mad at, at Crapcom for how they treated their customers when Legacy Collection for X was launched. You remember that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, basically the Steam version wasn't compatible with every computer and Capcom said that they had no intention of fixing it. They said, deal with it. Like, it... What do you mean it wasn't compatible with every computer? Like, me and several others on the support forum, we downloaded the game, like, we bought it for, you know, 50 bucks, however much the combo pack was. It's like 40. Yeah, yeah, 40, yeah, however, however much, for both games, and then we're like, yeah, let's play some Mega Man X, let's do this. And it would never load, it would, it would crash immediately. It'd be like, yeah, sorry, you can't play this, and then... When people reached out to Capcom and said, hey, your game doesn't work on every computer for some reason, even though it's on Steam, Capcom's like, yeah, not our problem. <laughs> so I uh, contacted Steam, got my money back, and I was really upset. Yeah, but I, I have consoles that I can play it on, so it's like one of my favorite games. I'm not going to skip out on this game. It took me, you know, about a year or so now to actually get around to getting it. But just, it's like, Capcom, why, why do you not have class? Because all their class is focused into Monster Hunter. I long for the days when Mega Man may once again take up the spotlight. Just wait for that Battle Network Legacy Collection. Uh, I will plunk down however much they want for whatever console it happens to be on. If need be, I will buy a new console to get. I hope it doesn't come to that, but if need be, I will. Like, that is the one thing I want in this life. Yeah, not like Invisible is doing much anyway. I would freaking love to have a Battle Network Lexi collection. And what they should do is they should basically, I would call DS Remake all of them to where it has voice acting like the DS games did, etc., etc. Give us like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even care if they gave us like updated graphics or anything because I like the graphics of the Battle Network series. Maybe polish them a little bit so they work better on HD TV and all that. 
but give us some minor voiceovers, like animated or slightly animated openings and ending sequences, revamped soundtrack, all the content that was in the original uncut Japanese version and any DLC that was exclusive, now available in the game as an unlockable. Like they did with Battle 5 Double Team. Pretty hefty wish list. Do it for every single Battle Network game. Like, you play Battle Network, 4, uh, Battle Network 2, you want the gospel chips, you got gospel chips. I can dream. And yet, when it comes to the... comes to Battle Network 6, I know I'm a diehard Boxai fanboy, I can even abide them not putting the Boxai stuff back in, but give us back the other stuff they cut that didn't need to be cut. Like, why cut a couple of undernet areas that aren't even related to the Boxai side quest? <laughs> Anyways, I can dream, though. Uh, I meant to ask this, because uh, I haven't been keeping up with it in the last couple of months. Have there been any more updates to Sword and Shield? Have they expanded the roster Pokemon you bring over anymore since the last one? I think they have, but I haven't messed much with it. Yeah. I'm waiting for a DLC to drop. Right. And, uh, oh, there's some other some other thing I want to ask about for DLC, but I don't remember what it was. Okay. Hmm. Keep going this way, or you want to double back? Double back real quick. All right. Because there, there's a door back this way. There's going to be a boss fight before you get to the door, isn't there? No? Okay. And no treasure chest at the end, so let's go in here. wonder what this leads to. Probably another long corridor. Oh, it's a room with a save point. And treasure. Packing tool. Barricade SP. Sure, drink. Nice. I will take that save point, though. Thank you. I wanted to ask about an update for a game. I can't remember. Pokemon? What. No, it wasn't Pokemon. It was something else. Hmm. Well, did, uh, Smash. That's what it was. I was going to ask if there's been any more word on when the next uh, Smash update might be. I have no idea. I've actually started playing Smash again here recently, though. Yeah. I suck now. <laughs> I'm bad. I, I'm not going to say I got good recently, but I, I played a good bit. But then we got Animal Crossing, and I've just been so concerned about my town that I haven't really played Smash after I unlocked all the characters. Though I do have a bit more appreciation for Samus after playing through Metroid Fusion. Which, I mean, I always thought Samus was cool. But now, I like a few of the more nuanced things about her a bit more. And now I get why Dark Samus was the Echo Fighter instead of SAX. Because the SAX was literally just Samus's armor. You think they learn after a little while, wouldn't you? That these kind of these kind of mobile suits aren't gonna stop us? No. You see, the trick is is Gabriel doesn't want us to stop. He well, wants us slowed down. Yeah, because he wants to fight us. Otherwise he wouldn't be piloting the master gun, alright? Pretty much. <laughs> you take your crit and shove it. Oh. <laughs> the one who critted Fritz got critted. <laughs> Dang, I was hoping he'd learn a new snipe ability. He's got one more he can learn, but I think it's at like level 40, so. It's either 40, 41, 42, something like that. Yeah, we get just uh Go ahead and throw some more sort of drinks on these people. We've already dealt with like three of these. Actually, no, it was reversed. I'm sorry. It was, it was one Arjarja and two Beowulfs. But still, that this is nothing. Come on, some challenge, please. 
The only thing you're testing is my patience. <laughs> oh. Oh, you think you slick. Well, guess what? Techniques aren't affected by attack power. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. You're getting feisty, huh? I guess what? Y'all still die. Oh, two of you. Okay. shot is pretty nasty. There we go. Yeah. It looks pretty nasty. Ah! Stop just short. So oh, close. <laughs> Stop just short. <laughs> I think this might be the highest level I've ever been at when at this part in the game. I think most of my grinding was done after the final boss. You said the max level's 50? Yes. We're about 10 levels away, but from here on, I don't think we actually learn anything. The boss around the corner. Yeah. Alright, I actually am going to go ahead and throw one of these on, everybody. Here we go. All right, who thinks they deserve the title of boss? Oops. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you. I see you over there. Hmm. All right, you know what we're going to do here? Here's what we're going to do. So close, Vargas. You can almost get off counter snipe for all these guys, but not quite. I am going to go ahead and leg snipe him, because I'm pretty sure he's... Oh! That... That... Really sucks. That backfired quickly. So the only thing I can hope is that all the damage stacks on the guy in the middle, on the... Uh, nope! <laughs> oh, oh, this is about to... This is about to become very unfortunate very quickly. Oh, no, no, no! Tristan, no! No, no! Oh, there's still one more! Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I asked for challenge, here it is! Heard you been talking s***. <laughs> That's what I get for opening my big mouth! <laughs> this is what happens, am I right? Yep. Oh, they all got a boost attack or something. I think there's a save point just up the road. Pretty sure at least one of them is dead. Maybe two. Oh, we're three. No. Oh no. Wait, why would you waste a snipe assist on power charging? Okay, as long as the other one doesn't hit Aeon, which should be fine. It's gonna hit Aeon, isn't it? Oh no. Okay. All right. So take this opportunity to. Full repair all on Tristan. Or not full repair all, full regenerate. Let's swap out for Tremmy. Yeah, Tremmy. Because watch this. Haha! -ha. 
I didn't even see a damage number on the far left one. <laughs> He's just dead. I got something for you. Uh, I'm just gonna swing at that one and swing at that one. Ha! Get overheated. I should just concentrate fire on the one in the middle. Yeah. And nope, he's still here. Okay. Nope. No beam knocking out of for you. But here's a hyper cannon for your face. I kinda want Fritz to get the final blow, but probably not. Nope. We get those shoulder pads though. If memory serves. Indeed we do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Voltage plant, sir? It's that really, really flashy one that uh, Tuck used on us. Finally! 